Hey guys, welcome to Precious Medledge. I hope you all are doing good and have watched my previous videos. If not, what are you waiting for? Go for those after the end of this video. Now without wasting any time further, let's get into today's topic. So today I will be sharing with you a mnemonic for remembering nephrotic syndrome. I have already dealt with nephrotic syndrome in one of my previous lecture. So let's start the topic. So the mnemonic for nephrotic syndrome, you can remember it as nephrotics or you can remember it as nephrotic syndrome. So each letter that is N E P H R O T I C S. Okay. Will correspond to something. So first from the letter N, we know that N is nephron. Okay. So nephron contains what nephron contains glomerulus. So nephrotic syndrome is basically a problem in the glomerular basement membrane, which leads to increased permeability of the glomerular basement membrane. So we can uh, remember that by EP that is elevated permeability. Okay. So because of this increased permeability of glomerular basement membrane, it leads to protein urea, which is three to four plus. Okay. Protein urea leads to hypoalbuminemia. Then hypoalbuminemia leads to decrease oncotic pressure. And as a result, there will be edema that is E for edema. This edema will be initially periorbital in nature. That is from P we know periorbital and later it becomes generalized and it is a pitting type of edema. From H we see hypovolemia. Hypovolemia also occurs because of decreased oncotic pressure. And one more symptom of nephrotic syndrome is hyperlipidemia. Then R stands for relapse and remission. That is nephrotic syndrome is characterized by uh, relapses and remission. Then O stands for output that is urine output may decrease in case of nephrotic syndrome we will leave t okay so basically t is for treatment so uh, we will go to i that is in case of nephrotic syndrome there will be infections also s that is stands for severe muscle wasting which will become evident after the edema subsides now coming to the investigations okay so in investigations for nephrotic syndrome first is proteinuria which i have already mentioned that is p for proteinuria 3 plus or 4 plus next is we will look for urine output that is o for urine output then we will do chest x-ray then c3 levels that is complement c3 levels and these are the investigations basically which we do in nephrotic syndrome now coming to the treatment t for treatment and treatment is done for 12 weeks t for 12 12 weeks okay with the help of what corticosteroids that is prednisolone so this corticosteroid is used for the treatment of relapse also used for the treatment of steroid sensitive nephrotic syndrome and steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome from s okay so in steroid sensitive nephrotic syndrome we use corticosteroids for t for 12 weeks and in steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome we use corticosteroids plus ace inhibitors okay in case of relapse we use again corticosteroids plus along with corticosteroids since we are giving corticosteroids for a long period of time so it can lead to steroid toxicity so we can also use steroid sparing agents in case of relapse that is cyclophosphamide cyclosporin and tacrolimus okay so this was about the treatment now coming to the complications of nephrotic syndrome this also you can remember from this so e stands for edema then h stands for hypovolemia then I stands for infections, S stands for steroid toxicity. So these are the complications of nephrotic syndrome. With this, we will end the session. Uh, if you want to take the notes of nephrotic syndrome properly, so you can refer the video uh, which is being shown on the left of the screen. I hope it was useful. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you.